So I didn't have any resistors. Uh, I didn't have a 330. I didn't have the 15 ohm. So I had to get creative. <clears throat> I combined two resistors to get the 330 ohm. It was a um, 300 ohm and 20 ohm, I think it was, to make it a 320 ohm. That should be close enough. And then four resistors to get the um, half watt three uh, 15 ohm resistor. I uh, combined two 56 ohms and two 68 ohms to get about 16 ohms. That should be close enough. Um, it's also going to be higher power. It's probably going to be a watt rating now, right? So um, that's where we are with this. I'm wondering if that's going to work. Hopefully it does. And the other, only other modification that everybody should make to these boards, it's the most important one, is adding these diodes on the output deflection transistors. That is the one thing that must be done, in my opinion. Um, the low voltage and other modifications people come up with really don't matter if you have these, because the problem with these monitors dying is the... Uh, the flyback effect on the um, uh, deflection coils coming back, you know, the back EMF or whatever you want to call it, coming back to the um, transistors and knocking them out, and then those shorting out, knocking out a bunch of other things. It's a cascade error, but adding diodes like this prevent that. I did that um, to all my vector monitors, and as far as I can remember, um, for 20, 30 years, none of them have ever gone out. But um, that's it, just my opinion.